All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday night. You can't have a Saturday night without short track racing here live on Norgar TV, and we're going short track racing in the trucks. Uh, 75 laps. This is going to be a monstrosity. It's going to be a slobber knocker. It is going to be automotive intercourse all over the place. It's going to get sloppy. It's going to be wet. It's going to be ugly. 75 laps here. It in the truck series. Martinsville Speedway. Here we go. We got, uh, I believe, a full field here tonight. Uh, let's take a look and see. Uh, how many? Well, we can't go by qualifying. We got uh, 25 trucks that have qualified, but it looks like there's 42 in the room. So, uh, big track rate or uh, big field racing on a small track here tonight at Martinsville. Martinsville measuring a .53 miles around this joint. It's going to be ugly, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be tempers are flaring. We may have to listen to the driver's communication after the wrecks and get involved, but, uh, 46 backing up. <laughs> safety first, safety first. There they go. They're pulling off right now. It's time to go racing. They're going to get uh, they're going to get two warm up laps here. Let's take a look at our qualifying order. Our qualifying order, Jason Jacoby, the winner of the last race, two for two, going for three for three here tonight. He's going to take the pole there in the number one truck. 19.829 uh, seconds, Dylan Rafferty in second, Alex Peck in third, Shane Dockerty in a fourth position. Chance Crum will be starting fifth in the number three. Uh, Michael Redding there in the number two on the outside. He'll be starting six. Austin Dodge in seventh. Matt McGowan in eighth position. P.J. Alexander in ninth. Christopher Hall in tenth. That'll round out your top ten, ladies and gentlemen. Hoff, Crichton, Flores, uh, Fuller, Fulford, Harvey, uh, Harvey Schwint, Wynn, Largan, Robinson, Nixon. That'll round out your top 20. Everybody else uh, probably going to get wrecked on lap number one, so... We'll get to that. What up, what up, what up? What's up, boys? What's up, boys? How's it going? And there's a few gals out there. Hello, ladies. <laughs> All right, pace car going to be pulling off, and it is time to go green flag, green flag racing. Here we go. Bumper up in time live on Norgar TV. Green, green, green. Where's the wreck gonna be? Where's the wreck gonna be? Where's the wreck gonna be? Look at all those trucks. We got trucks into the wall already. Wow, we made it a lap, ladies and gentlemen. No major disasters yet. And the field's starting to get strung out. Tricky thing about this track is, is you're backing her way down going into the turns number one, and uh, you don't want to cook your brakes too, too bad. So we see a move going on the outside there. That's the number 45 on the outside of the one. Trying to make something happen there on Jacoby. Jacoby currently scored in second position. 45 getting the last lap. Not going to be able to do it. That's Rafferty there. Dylan Rafferty in the 46 up front. A lap number four. We're going 75 here in this biatch here tonight. Oh, man, we got short track racing. We got people wobbling all over the place. We got people cursing at one another. Somebody may throw a shoe before the night is over. You never know what may happen here live on Norgar TV. And so far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good at Martinsville. Side by side, there's the white truck. I believe he's the 21, can't read his number. Nope, he's not the 21, because there's the 21 who just took 15th position here at Martinsville in the truck series. These guys all lined up single file, and man, oh man, Chance Crumb making his way up through there. He is up to fourth. Yep, take that back, he's in fifth. New leader up front, the 46 of Rafferty, gonna take it from the number one. Seven on the inside, looking for second position. Here they 
come down the front stretch here in Martinsville and a screaming, uh-oh, screaming pace, speed, facility, very difficult official this week. I'll make sure we're finding our view too. Seen a lot of damage. Let's take a look here and uh, see who gets involved. Let's go to the TV2. Focus on crashes, please, iRacing, as I sip my beer on this Saturday night. Well, oh, the 98 in big trouble. 98, 98, 98 in big trouble. Pepsi, Pepsi. That is Bobby Robinson. Robinson in the number 98. Oh, going to receive a little bit of damage there as they go three wide through one and two. Let's go to the TV2 view. Let's take a look and see what here. Three wide, four on the outside, 39 in the middle, 98 down low. Uh, three wide on a track that's maybe, I don't know, it, it might be 11 feet wide. I don't know. It, it seems pretty narrow out there. Uh, that's going to cause issues right there. There's going to be a lot of touching, a lot of contact. 98 and the 39 unrelenting. And you're going to see the wreck right in front of the four. Nowhere to go against the wall. The 78 going to dive it down low. The 14 of Scott Simley. Will he be able to get through here? And I believe he's going to. There's a Superman of Richard Schwint in the number 55. Simley going to bring it down pit road, actually. Somebody clear his fat, uh, flag because uh, he came down pit road to avoid an accident. So if Scott Simley does, uh, oh, and he disconnected. Oh, that's a shame. Why did he disconnect? He didn't hit the water barrel. That's a shame there on Simley. He would have been fine. All right, so they're all wadded up. Lap number eight. Caution flag number one. Yeah, you wanted uh, you wanted bumper humping. You're gonna see it. And there was the first instance here tonight. 75 laps here at Martinsville. And uh, we're going to see some pit road stops here in just a second. But good little run they had going on there. I thought they were going to make it for a while, actually. But uh, <laughs> I was madly mistaken. Now, if you can see here, here's a good shot. Pit road, very difficult here. Pit road. Okay, they called it off. One to go. When they, when they pit get Road is actually in the beginning of three. Right there is the entrance to Pit Road. Very deceiving. Most tracks, uh, it's coming off a of four, not here. And uh, it's tough to get down there. Green flag has been called off. Rafferty up front. The seven on the outside, that's Doherty. The one truck of Jacoby, your pole sitter in the RV's Wendy's machine. Arby's and Wendy's right now. A little roast beef and a little frosty. That sounds yummy and quite delicious at the moment. All right. Rafferty going to lead him down. Dylan, there in the number 46. Uh, let's take a look at the official starting grid. Official starting grid, 30 trucks. Room was full. 12 people chickened out. It happens. Ready, green flag, green, green, green flag. Green. It's busy out there, folks. Caution's out. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Big wreck coming down the back stretch out How's of How's my radio been today? Could you hear me fine? Number 18 in trouble, let's take a look. Caution flag number two. Steven Taylor. He had to check up and he got loose and never regained it. Oh, Taylor in trouble. Oh, West.
Western Canada Maple Leaf all smushed. That's going to be a shame for Taylor here early on. No resets. Not going to be able to get. Let's go on board with him. Let's take a look. Here's a restart at Martinsville, baby, with a big ass field. Vomit all over the visor, get the sawdust truck out. Steven Taylor has upchucked his lunch. Oh, man. Taylor down on pit road, extensive damage on the number 18 interstate battery Chevy Silverado. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a slobber knocker out there tonight. Full house of cardboard cutouts out in the uh, stand. Let's see if there's any uh, large chest. Uh, around and around and around. And stop. Uh, hey, do something. Why are you with that guy or that guy? Seriously? Really? All right. Let's move on. Hey, uh. Everybody's got long sleeve shirts on and you're showing your belly button. Cover that shit up. You, dude. Get some sleeves, mofo. And uh, put a jacket over your uh, wife there. Let's see who else we got. Who else we got? Who else we got? This dude's really into it. This guy's half into it. He's got one, one headset on, one headset off. That guy, he's like, I'm not even listening to the race. I'm jamming to some dude. This guy's like, uh, dude, I don't know when I'm going to get my next uh, shipment of pot in. Should be good. What I do? Dude, stop playing pocket pool. Knock that off. Don't you know the cameras are on you? Ready, get your flag, hands out of your flag. pants. It's green flag racing time. Great, great, great. Continue. 
let's take a look and go to the chopper view crackheads crackheads all over it to, uh, for this race I think they ran out of stash 77 on the outside following chance crumb up front uh, well mid pack he's uh, about in 12th position coming down into turn number three if you look at the telemetry 70 70 miles an hour around turn three and four 21 getting loose down there on the inside involved in the last incident and the 77 comes off of uh, four gets loose and uh, too much throttle baby too much throttle the 77 goes for a ride vomits everywhere there's definitely Hershey squirts there on the 77 we will not be going on board ladies and gentlemen he's got a white fire suit on not gonna be very pleasant but we can what we can do is go right behind them and uh, ride through this wreck we're gonna fall back uh, Glenn Fulford let's go on board with him driving the number 34 riding in 21st position some damage that's gonna be some damage lucky dogs gonna be a very important thing oh hooters I see hooters number 34 has got hooters there they are I'm not lying oh baby you guys and your hey, you guys just want TV time been seeing a lot of uh, half-dressed women on vehicles here lately and I swear you guys just looking for TV time and guess what you're gonna get it we like Hooters all right pit road busy 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 we're happy 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 up here I hope you are too with air out in Norgar TV chat thank you all for tuning in please head over to the Facebook Stay in tune on what's going on over there. Say hello. Post your pictures, your racing stuff, whatever it is you got. And uh, this is going to be an interesting race off of pit road. The seven. I think he only took two tires on the number seven. Everybody else taking four. Rafferty off in about fourth position. Pit road cam really putting it on the line tonight. And we're back to green flag racing because I'm a dummy. Took too long on the replays. Here we go, green flag racing here in Martinsville. Lap number 31 up, 75, three wide, coming down. Oh, Caution's mommy. out, caution's out. See, now we have to go through this wreck here. Really doing a great job, man. We'll again. keep working on this thing for and you. And it's a whole you big inside there? You circle okay? of wrecks is what it is. I don't know, I'm just gonna give that two notches. Bam, bam. Bam, bam! There we go. We have it. Two wrecks right in a row. Oh, my. You know, I actually had the balls to do a twisted mystery race here one time. Oh, that was nightmarish. I don't know where the wreck happened. I don't care. I'm hot. I'm going to go out for a smoke. I think you guys should go have some sex. By the time you guys get done, you will be back. And everything should be groovy. Let's take a look here. Focus in on crashes. What brings out this crash? Oh, right there up front. Oh, yeah, up front, 31, beating on the 3. 28, beating on the 31. Oh, that's good stuff. Good short track racing. Let's, uh, let's uh, listen in to the drivers as they speak. Come on. Number 55, Mr. Richard. Um, do I have a lot of damage on my nose? Uh, you look pretty rough from here. I don't know if it's going to matter on this track or not. Number 98, Mr. Mr. Robinson. Do I have a lot of damage on my rear? Uh, I don't have my graphic on that, man. Uh, it feels good. Mine. Well, I'll, uh, well, the 59 and that's when you're asking you're in not too bad, but, uh, Bobby, it looks like you got rear-ended by, uh, freight train. 
<laughs> that bad, huh? Well, it's an Amazon thing. I just went to shut my tires off, hit the wall. The dog running for the six seconds. Got to love repairs. Ah, uh, no. I don't think I'm going to shut the tires off. I'm liking this track. I'm liking this track. New effect setup has really made me like this track a whole lot more now. Yeah, so do you. I'm gonna win. I think I cut down in front of you there. We're good. We got 24 cars. Never mind. Let me know when the leader gets in turn four. Chance Crum, your leader now. Out there in the number three, in the seven, Shane Doherty. In the 25, Brandon Huff. Justin Flores. Flores got a good run going on here tonight. Oh, you're going to see three wide at this place. That's why they still race here. Is uh, The racing is very, very exciting. Uh, but these guys got to learn how to wreck better. There's a lot of wrecking that happens on this track and when I say wrecking better is you can run into one another, you can lean on one another, but you got to do it in such a way where you're not spinning guys around. Um, that's how you have to pass people here. A lot of bump and runs, a lot of rough driving, uh, but if somebody spins, the rest of the field does suffer, so you have to be uh, cautious about that. Crumb on the inside, the lights should be going off this time by lap number 42. Come on, lights go off. Lights still not going off. Well, squeezing somebody into the wall, not really an issue here. If you're up near the wall here at Martinsville, that means you misbroke. That means you didn't break early enough. Uh, and you will go up there and you can see three and four wide racing through the turns but only if lap cars and slower traffic are willing to stay up there which uh, honestly personally I haven't seen a lot of that uh, we will probably end up seeing some of these leaders catch up on some slower traffic at some point and I gotta tell you the slower traffic they don't go around but if you're up near the wall you miss broke you want to stay down on that low line uh, right around the second crease coming out of two. And the pace car is going to be off. Crumb going to lead them down. Seven on the outside. Here we go again. The field gets lighter. Green, green, green. Green, 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 says Earl. Oh, and Crumb punted. He able to hang on to it. They're trying 
three wide in turn three and four. Crum gonna lose out on that end of the stick and he's gonna fall back to third. 25 and the seven, really going at it. And we got a wreck coming down the back stretch. Caution's out, caution's out. In trouble. Go Daddy Danica Machine. Really doing a great job, man. We'll keep working on this thing for you. How you doing inside there? You feeling okay? Oh, mama, I'm glad I got a lot of beer. Flory's in trouble. Go, Danica, go! How many out there are Danica fans? I'd like to know who actually is a Danica fan. Just curious. I don't want to offend anybody. I mean, I know a lot of guys have certain fans, and if you're a fan of Danica, say I. You're going to see Rafferty down low. 23. Get your dot net. Go Daddy Machine on the outside of Rafferty. And man, that may have been a net code error. Let's go to the rear chase view. Slow it down. This may be actually be a net code error. Let's take a look. I'm not sure these guys ever even touched. Yeah, they did. They definitely did. Racing hard. Rafferty going to go for a ride. And uh, go daddy in trouble. All right. Caution flag. No one cares. Good thing aerodynamics not important here at this short track. Cut. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time to go have some sex. Uh, we're going to take a break here. Uh, we're going to bring you messages from uh, nothing uh, because we're not. We don't have any commercials. Yeah, it keeps telling me to let a car by that's not even on the track, and I keep getting black flag for it every restart. That's unfortunate. Green, green, green. I got a passing under yellow for those slow trucks. Yeah, so I got it again. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's all good. I just got disqualified because it won her. Turn three, turn four. Damn, I just got I just got plowed, run over in the corner. Turn four out, turn four out, front stretch. Gosh is out. How's my radio been today? Could you hear me fine? Hey, 
Hey, number 31, Austin, I didn't mean to bump you and move you out of the way. Sorry, you're on the outside and you cut down and I just ran out of room. I'm breaking. Sorry about that. Thanks for raising me clean, though. Good job. Hey, Michael, we couldn't hear you in voice chat there. Yeah, uh, I think I'm not. Okay, I s what I was saying was, is I know you guys can race this. I know you, you need to learn it. If there's one more caution flag, I'm going to throw a you cannot pass uh, for the entire first lap after the next restart. So, guys, don't wreck anymore. Take your time. I know you can do it. Let's see a good race. I'm checking that. On the outside, Chan. Side, Chan. All right. I'm going to try this again. Number 56, we're winding her down. Most of this race been under caution as we knew it would be. But I'm going to tell you, uh, Norgard TV viewers out here, this track here at Martinsville is the most requested that I get in emails to run for mystery races and tournaments and stuff like this. And uh, I hear the emails, I see the Facebook posts, uh, I get the messages on iRacing, I see them on YouTube, and uh, I see all your stuff, and uh, we're going to learn this. This is going to be learned here at this track, we're going to run this track a lot. Uh, I personally like this track, I have not raced here as of yet. I've been, uh, I got many, many practice laps turned uh, every race that we've run here, I've been up in the booth for. Uh, but this track is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, but you've got to give and take on this track. Cars off. They're going to be going green this time by lap number 59. Here we go. Trying to wind it out. Green flag. Green, green, green. Wheels down on pit road there. Number 12. Down into turn number one. Crackheads focus on the pace car. They just have this dash. of Brandon Hoff and Jacob Jacoby trying to make it three in a row. He's running in second. Lap 61 here in Martinsville. Yep, we got a lot of trucks behind the wall up on the trailer. A lot of wreck. No resets here at Mystery Races anymore. You need to bring your A-games from here on out. You wreck it, you park it. I'm going to lose a lot of spots coming out of turn number two here as they all start to string out here at Martinsville, winding the laps down lap 63 this time by. Number one up there on the 25's bumper trying to get to him, trying to make it three for three. Jacob Jacoby, the Cinderella story, out of nowhere, don't know where he's from, don't know what he does. But, oh, and the 25 and the 1, oh, they touch, oh, and here he goes on the inside. No, can't get her done.
Jacoby out of nowhere, making his first start the other night here at Norgard TV. Mr. Ace coming home with a win. Making a start tonight, coming home with a win. And he taking the pole here tonight, trying to get the win. Can he make it three in a row and, and etch his name in Norgard TV history for being the only guy to start three times in a mystery race and finish in first three times. There have been people for literally six months trying to win a mystery race. Mystery race is so hard to win here on Norgard TV. And Jacoby, there he goes on the outside, got the run. He's gonna take first position here on lap 66. Jacoby to the front, the 25 to second, off. Back to second position. Everybody rooting for the number one right now. This guy out of nowhere, brand new, nobody knows nothing about this dude. Making very few starts, just starting the other night. Norgard TV Mr. Race, loving it, telling me I love this stuff. Thank you very much for putting this on, and he's leading them out front here in Martinsville as they all get strung out. We got cars coming off of pit road right now. There is the 55 of Richard Swint there in the Superman vehicle. A little bit loose there for the number 98 of Robbie Johnson running in sixth, trying to shut the door there on the number two of Michael Redding. That is, he's running in seventh right now. Jacoby still out front. Lap number 69, winding them down. Trying to make some moves, Rafferty there, able to stay in the top three with that damaged race truck here at Martinsville. Chance Crum moving back up through the field. He's back up to sixth. No, he's back up to eighth, eighth. Chance Crum at eighth. Lap 71. Jacoby still up caution, front. Caution. caution flag is flown. That's probably going to do it. Jacoby, the field is frozen, comes across the line. Yeah, well, that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Race is over, field is frozen, going to fall in. Jacob Jacoby, three for three on Nordgar TV, etches his name in history as the only guy to ever do it. That may, you may be looking at your mystery race champ right there. More things to come out of the number one. Crowd going nuts right now for Jacob Jacoby in the number one. The 25 gave it everything he had there at the end. Hoff coming home in second. Let's take a look right now and see what does bring out that caution to end the race to seal Jacoby in history. And he's not done, ladies and gentlemen. He's still got his next start to try to make it a four-peat. Somebody spun around right about here. It's the number three, Chance Crum. In trouble. Chance was running in eighth position. They start spinning in front of him. 98 and the two. They're going to touch. And the 98 going to go around Chance Crum. Going to get into the driver's side left front fender. 23 going to hit him. That's going to bring out the final caution of the night. One more lap around if his car blows up. The 25 will take the win. Jacoby taking pretty good care. We see a lot of damage there on the rear of the car. We're gonna have to get a word in with Jacob Jacoby as he takes the checkered flag here at Martinsville tonight, 75 laps. Man, what a story for this Jacoby kid. Three starts, three wins. And as I said earlier, ladies and gentlemen, there have been people for six months trying to win 
a mystery race. There's been people for probably four or five months trying to just finish a mystery race. And this guy coming out of nowhere from Georgia, I'm being told, he's going to come home with a win. He crosses the line first, and there they go. They're going to wad them all up. Jacob Jacoby takes the checkered flag and wins the race here at Martinsville. Yeah, dude, you got it. Jacob Jacoby Norgar in the booth. Three starts, three wins. Where in the hell did you come from, number one? I honestly don't know, man. <laughs> well, I was just telling the crowd here uh, in Norgar TV chat, three starts, three wins. Uh, nobody knew who you were about five days ago. Here you are in Norgar TV mystery races, ripping them up, buddy. Uh, what you got for everybody out in chat here tonight? And you just gained, let me say this, you just gained probably seven, eight, nine, ten fans tonight. Everybody cheering for you in chat right now, going nuts. So what do you got to say to the fans out there that you just gained? Man, I want to thank you guys very much. All the fans watching, uh, this is so fun to be a part of, and it's also so fun to watch because I've seen the broadcast myself. And uh, so, I mean, this is great, and uh, thank you guys again. All right, Jacob. Uh Enough of the BS. Light them up, bitch. Here we go. Congratulations, number one. Brandon Hoff in the number 25. Uh, Norgar in the booth. You got a copy there, buddy? 10-4. Brandon, strong race all night. Uh, you don't come home with the trophy. You don't get to smack the trophy girl on the ass. But tell us about your race out there at Martinsville tonight. Aw, uh, man, the truck was fast. You know, uh, about eight to go, I just choked. Got loose off four. Allowed Jason to get by and then locked him up going into three with about, with about five to go. Allowed him to get away. But, yeah, pretty good race overall for me. Well, you managed to stay up toward the front most of the night and stay out of the uh, wrecks. Uh, what was the hardest part of this track here for you tonight, uh, number 25? Uh, avoiding the other cars when they're wrecking. It's pretty hard to avoid the wrecks. No room here. I mean, probably the thinnest track. Now it's track in the sport, so... There's really no room to avoid the wrecks. Fair enough, brother. Uh, anybody you want to thank here tonight? Uh, congratulations on your second place finish. It's tough to finish well here. And uh, you're able to pull home a, a, a P2. So uh, anybody you want to thank here tonight before we move on, uh, Dylan? Uh, I like to thank my teammates at Rafferty Motorsports, especially Dylan Rafferty and Shane Doherty. Uh, I'd like to thank sponsor TTS, Truck Trailer Service. And, uh, yeah, keep digging. You guys put up a great show here at Norgar. Right on, right on. Hope to see you back very, very soon, Brandon, and uh, drive that number 25 into victory lane. Good, good job, man. Good job. Thank you, Michael. All right, Dylan. Dylan, uh, you still in the house? Hey, yep. Dylan, you're no stranger to Norgar TV Mystery Races. Short track racing tonight in the trucks. A little rough going out there, but, uh, man, you got beaten, banged all around, knocked around like a pinball, uh, but you managed uh, to be able to pull home a third-place finish. Tell us about your race, man. Yeah, I had a pretty good run going early, but then uh, made a stupid decision and pitted and got caught up in a mess in the back, and I don't know if felt like I was running the street stock the way the thing was handling all bent up and stuff, but quite a transition going from Vegas practice to here, so not too bad, I guess. Jumped right in the race, and uh, Ratchet Motorsports gave me a good truck. And it showed out there tonight. Uh, great truck. It looked pretty much indestructible. With uh, We're looking at all the damage right now on some of the replay footage of your vehicle. And, uh, man, great job wheeling it around that joint. 
Um, what would you say the hardest part of this track uh, for you was here tonight, and what would you have done differently to maybe squeak out uh, a win here? Uh, this is actually one of my favorite tracks. It just uh, didn't get too much practice before qualifying started. And, um, I don't know, just should have stayed out and said pit and got back there in the mess where some of the guys were going at it. And yeah, Truck don't turn when the front end's about two foot in the air because it's crushed. I was on two wheels for a point in time on the back stretch. I wanted to crash it. Well, amazing job driving that home in third place. Anybody you want to thank? before we get out of here for the night. Uh, Brandon House, Shane Dougie, I don't even know how to say my teammate's name, Chris Largan, they all help get good trucks and uh, Rafty Excavating and then Rafty Designs on Facebook. If you want a pretty good paint scheme, there you go. All right, Dylan. Congratulations on your third place finish and hope to see you back out to a Norgar TV mystery race real, real soon. Thanks for the show. It was fun.